All right, guys, we're talking about uh, angles, and this is number three off the homework. I think it's worksheet 103. So if BD bisects, that's your first keyword here. Make sure you understand that. Anytime you, you see bisects, that means it cuts it in half. So BD is going to cut another angle, ABC, in half. Here's BD. And the other angle that we're talking about is... A, B, C. So if it bisects it, that means this guy is congruent to this guy. I know my drawing is not perfectly accurate, but you get the picture. It's not drawn to scale. Um, so this is the scenario that we're talking about. And that's all information from this first part right here. B, D, bisects A, B, C. From there, it's really just about plugging in what you know. So A, B, D, that's this angle right here, is X plus 32. Remember, draw a picture, get yourself an idea of what's going on. Um, DBC, that's this angle right here, is 4 minus 3x. And they want you to find the measure of the entire angle. So we go through this. We use what we're given and we use what we know. If it bisects it, again, uh, this angle is going to be congruent to this angle. So the measure of angle ABD is going to be the same. Come on. Going to be the same as the measure of angle. Let's use it how they uh, expressed it here. Um, CBD, or I guess DBC is how they expressed it. There's DBC. So use that relationship. So x plus 32. We're just substituting in the uh, the values that they gave us. That's going to be the same as 4 minus 3x. Uh, go through and solve. We'll move our 3x over here and our 32 over here. That's going to give us a negative 28 on the right side um, and a 4x on the left side. So x is negative 7. Um, but again, they didn't want us to solve for x. That's just part of what they wanted us to do. They need us to find the measure of the entire thing. So a couple different ways you can do this. You can either add these two angles up to find it, or I know it's a bisector, so I can just say, hey, I know that uh, ABC is going to be equal to just twice the length of one of the angles because these two expressions are equivalent. So I can say measure of angle ABC is equal to uh, one of the angles doubled. Um, and you can use either angle in here. I could have put in 4 minus 3x. Didn't really matter. They're both equivalent expressions. So um, go ahead and plug in your x. So that's equal to 2 times negative 7 plus 32. 2 times 25 on the inside, it's going to be 50 degrees. So the measure of angle ABC is going to be equal to 50 degrees. Box your answers. Uh, we showed all our work up here, so we're good to go.